guys, um, okay, so my hair is drying and that, I don't want that to happen. So, let me just get into this. Um, before I blow out my hair, use, um, I mean, when it's wet, I use the Miracle 7 Mist. It's kind of like it's 10, but a little bit cheaper. Um, so I just sprayed that in. I'm going to just brush it out from the bottom up. I use a Goldwell Double Boost Styling Spray, and this is just for your roots to um, give you volume. And I alternate between this and the Garnier Fructis um, High Rise Lift Root Booster, which I've talked about before, which is a great ultimatum, um, and it's cheap. It's drugstore, so yeah. I'm just going to use the Goldwell, though. going to just spray it in the roots a little bit. Rub it in. It smells so good. So after that, I am just going to flip my head and blow dry it until it's about 80 to 90% dry. And then I'm just going to throw it up in a bun and do my makeup and then come back to it. Alright, so now that I did my makeup, um, my hair is pretty much almost dry. It's slightly damp. And I know for most of you, you probably are wondering, why would you blow out your hair when it's already almost dry? It doesn't make any sense. Um, and for people who have curly hair or really thick hair, it probably, this isn't the best thing to do for you. Because you need to just like go right away and blow it out but for me I can do this and it helps um, with volume for me I don't know <clears throat> sorry if I sound a little sick I am um, and again it's loud in my house my house is always loud so sorry but anyway let's get started um, this is what I, I put it in a little clip and it's just a loose bun and do my makeup and so you take it out like so and as you can see, it already has some body. And, um, yeah. Look. Just from doing that. It is slightly damp, though. So, that's good. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use, um, the Chi Thermal, the Iron Guard. It's only, like, five bucks, this little one I get at Ulta. But, um, an alternative would be the Tresemme Thermal protectant which is a couple dollars at Walmart Target and it's a way bigger bottle and uh, more it's inexpensive so but I'm going to use chi because that's what works best for me and I'm going to put it in all over all right so um, going to put half of it up well most of it up I'm gonna go from your ears back and throw the rest up. <clears throat> you need like a uh, claw clip or something to hold it. <clears throat> and you're going to take right from the back, split it in half. And I actually could have taken more hair on the bottom, but um, we'll just work with this. I definitely, you know what, I'm going to take a little more because sun enough. So just above your ears, I guess. Alright, so you split it in half, then split this in half, and you're going to take your round brush, and I've talked about this in my favorites video if you want to go check that out. So you're going to take your hair, put the brush right behind it, push it through, and it grips so good. And you're going to put your, your brush dryer on the highest, um, setting and the hottest and what you're gonna do is for the bottom layer you don't necessarily need to uh, blow it upwards for volume because the bottom layer you want it to be the longest so we're just going to um, you know go one and twirl the ends two and I'll show you
that's that. I'm gonna do the same thing to that other piece, go behind. Okay, so when you're blowing it out, you're gonna, I know, obviously pull, but you're gonna twist the brush as you're doing it so you can get shine and volume and like curl. So it flips like that. And then you want to twirl it so that right here on the ends, like towards the end, so that that gets the most flip and you hold it there for a little while. And then you let go. It should be a little bit of a flip. So that's that. So you're just going to do the same thing to the other side. And after each layer that I do, I spray my KMS Hair Anti-Humidity Seal. I talked about this as well. You can get this at Ulta. Um, it smells so good. And it's for shine and just... <coughs> Whoa! Alright, so now you want to take the hair, pull it forward, take the rest of the hair out, and... Um, you're going to take, I guess you're going to go up to your uh, temples, up above your temples, and just take more hair out for the top layer. So you're going to take the hair that you just put down, split that in half, bring that forward, and the rest back. I'm going to brush this out. Alright, so we're going to start from the back layer, in the back. Put it behind, and we're going to blow upward. Um, and do the same technique with just rolling the brush, um, but you're going to do it upward. We're going to drop it. And, you know, it's healthier for you not to put the uh, blow dryer directly onto the hair because that's, you know, extreme heat. Um, but, you know, if you have, I, I do it, uh, not all the time, but I guess that for the most shine, you want to get the heat as close, as close to the hair. It's like using an iron almost. So, um, it may not be the healthiest thing, but if you want the most shine... Then get the um, blow dryer as close as you can to your hair. Um, and take the next piece, so it's going to be three pieces all together. Um, and do the same thing, just go upwards and, and out. And I need a haircut so bad. I waited way too long. Take the next piece, do the exact same thing, pull it um, upwards and like, like up <laughs> and like forward. So that side's done. Um, Take this side, brush it out, <clears throat> do the same exact thing, we're going to take from the back, put the brush behind, and go upward. And now for the most important layer is the top. So sometimes I um, have too much hair on top. This time I don't. Sometimes I do. And if I do end up having too much here, then I'll take a little from the sides and I'll blow it out the same as I did this. So I'm just going upwards. Um, 
but I think I should be okay. So I'm going to start from the back, the crown, and go across. <clears throat> Take a nice chunk. Alright, so you're going to put the brush right behind, run it through, and then in front. And I do this in front because I'm going to blow dry my hair this way so that, um, so that you get the most volume in the crown. So to blow it, you know, if you blow it this way back, it's going to like lay it flat. So you want to pull this forward, blow dry it, and then once you do that, you're going to uh, hit it with a cool shot. So put it on cold. So I'm just going to do that really quick. it's hot and now I'm going to do it's hair in my mouth yep okay put it on a cold setting Hi. did you see my nephew all right now I'm going to go in back and just um, pull the hair directly forward and blow it out down so it cools. Okay, now you're going to take the next part to do that. Cross, and we're just going to pull it down and forward and blow it out like that. Hold it there, and I'm actually going to do a cold shot, because your hair is, is, you know, hot and it's going to mold to whenever it cools down to what it is, so you want to make sure it gets a cold shot to hold it in place. This is the last one. It's my bangs and a little more. It's mostly my bangs though. Uh, so the bangs for most people is like the hardest thing to do. So depending on what kind of a haircut you have, um, my bangs are, um, I guess, the wing. It um, flares out when I part it in the middle. Um, so they're pretty long, um, but with any bang, <clears throat> you always want to like make sure that you're blow drying it in every direction. I don't know why it is that it is that way, but it it comes out the it doesn't look good when you blow it out one certain way every time. It just doesn't. So I'm sorry, I keep sniffling. I'm gonna um go behind and go back first. take it, go down, and then across, and then I'm going to put it behind and do the same thing we were doing and just pull it down. Turn the brush. And then I'm going to do a cool shot. 
should fall into wherever you normally part it. Yeah. I have a callus. Calic? How do you say that word? I don't know. But my hair like always goes to one side and I want it to go the other way. It's so annoying. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, another important thing is <clears throat> because your hair is still warm from blowing it out, you want to flip your head over and do a cold shot as well. Or sometimes you could even stand in front of a, like an air conditioner or something. It's usually good to do. Um, and say you're going out somewhere, um, and you just want your hair to look the best it could possibly look and, um, you know, you have other things to do before you're leaving and whatnot. So after you're done blow drying it out, you can also like flip your head over and put it in a really loose twisted bun and just use like a claw clip. Um, nothing with like a, a scrunchie or something cause that'll leave a dent. But if you do that with the claw clip, it'll just make your hair, like, it'll, you know, the roots will be high and lifted up. So once it falls down, everything will be shaped and cooled. Um, and so you'll have a lot of volume. And, and the bun itself will just give it a natural, like, wave to it. So that's a good technique. Mm -hmm.